Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Leos. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Leos. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves, eating plenty of fruit and vegetables, and taking care of that beautiful, sexy-ass temple of yours, Leos, as it take care of you, my loves. Welcome back. Come on in. Have a seat. We're going to see what messages, source, your guardian angels, and your ancestors have here for you today. Shout out to the Evolved Spirits. Shout out to the Soul Tribe members. Gang, gang, I appreciate you all so much for your continuous love and support. And welcome back to the ones that are new here. It is an honor and a pleasure to have you here. Thank you all for stopping by. Duffy, if the readings here today fulfills your spirit loves, don't forget to like, subscribe. We would love to have you here, part of family as well. And make sure to adjust your notification bells, Leo, so that way you are aware for when I go live here on this platform as well. I do go live throughout the week for all zodiac sign readings if you would love to stop by and get a check in before you get your day there started as well lions all right and this week we are focusing in on the color purple yes we're focusing in on our crown chakra this week evolving by following our intuition and using our discernment here all right definitely if you're new here keep up with the community tab that is where i do post daily enlightenment there as well for you all and i do inform you of the colors that we transition into each week we do understand here that colors have their own frequency and vibration all right so definitely if you're new here we will love love to have you here welcome welcome and let's go ahead and get into your reading here today lions all right so yes i'm so excited lions let's see what we have coming for you for romance here in the year of 2023 my loves all right so let's see here Whoa, we have the Seven of Swords energy here, all right? Some of you are this person here that you could be engaging here with. This could be an air sign here, Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra here, or anyone can embody the energies of the cards here, right? This is just a way, or particularly that this person, the energy that they're in at this time here. Now, we know this card, you know, talks about on the positive part or perspective here this card talks about strategizing putting something together having a plan setting up a plan here but not letting no one particularly know what this particular person is doing is why they look like they're sneaking around or doing something behind closed doors here okay now on the negative end here this is someone that is lying not being honest about a situation sneaking all right, around. As you can see, this person has all these swords in their hand and they're sneaking around the corner here, even thinking how they can get the other two swords that are there in the window, okay? So this could be someone that may be sneaking around. They may be doing something here behind your back, Leos, that you wasn't sure about here and you found out about this person being deceptive or deception here, excuse me, regarding a situation or a circumstance here, okay? So again, some of you are this person could be an air sign here that's causing this here let's see the magician all right very interesting here this is fire element here this is your energy as well leos also aries energy here and also aquarius energy here for me as a reader here all right so someone here is definitely um either making a plan here because someone is literally setting the intentions here by manifesting a situation here to happen or occur here okay Rather, this is you, Leos, or your person here. Someone is definitely setting the intentions here to plan a situation or come towards you with an offer here. Again, they could be sneaky, sneaky about this, not in a bad way. They could be doing this in a way with the magician with the seven of swords next to it. This person could be literally strategizing or trying to come up with a plan here and how they can manifest you into their life here or manifest you to be involved in a situation or a circumstance here. But we'll get more into this. Let's see what's going on here. 
Ooh, yeah, we got the five of ones here. Now, this is also your element here as well. Some of you all, you could be engaging here with the fire sign here as well. This could be a Sagittarius here, an Aries here for others of you all, or a Leo here as well. So there is definitely some outside influencers here, some conflicts here with someone that has a disagreement about you or this person here, Leos, or about this relationship overall here. These could be family here here that has a say so here or wants to have a say so or having their opinion about this relationship or about your person here leos okay this could be an ex situation here where someone here is causing conflicts or drama all right this car usually talks about a fight or something breaking out where because of someone is not you know wanting to do what the other partner here wants to do or agrees to do here all right so someone is having conflicts about this they're upset about this so they're causing issues or situations and problems here to take place here because of how they feel about a situation or about you leos or about your person here this could be your ex here leos that is causing problems here doing things behind your back being sneaky here and trying to manifest an awful situation to happen or take place here all right i don't see it working out in this person's favor here but however i do see someone trying to make an attempt attempt to do so but i don't see this being in a working out basically in someone's favor here okay yeah look at that we have the ten of cups here okay this represents the ultimate happiness here being happy being content feeling complete with the particular person here so some of you all have decided to move on here and you're actually happy right? You're happy with whoever this person here may be. Some of you are, this person could be a water sign here, a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio here, and you're actually happy with where you're at and who you moved on and decided to be in a relationship here with, and unfortunately, you have other energies around you or an ex here or a family that that's not happy with who you chose or the decision here that you decided to make or vice versa, your person here. There is a lot of other people feel like that they have a safe so when it comes to your relationship here or this person relationship here and that just trips me out how people can feel like they can tell you who you can date and who you can lay the fuck up with last time i checked we were all grown here okay but there is definitely someone here that feels like they should have control over your life here leo's or your person's life here to tell you when you should go take a shit and when you should not go take a shit okay like where do they do that at? this is not the planet for that shit okay and i feel like you and this particular person has realized this i feel like you guys are over here calm collect and cool you enjoying yourselves and it's just a bunch of chaos around you because these people are not being able to grasp your attention or not able to you know intervene in this relationship or the choices here leos that you're deciding to make and because of that they're trying their best to start drama they're trying their best to get your attention by getting things to get back to you or getting messages to come back to you if they start drama over here then maybe this will get back to you and the word to get out on the streets or to get through the family and someone in the family or get the message back to you but in reality this is not working out as i mentioned in this particular person's favor so this is why they're causing drama and just really taking things out of proportion here yeah look at that the two of pentacles here this person's even trying to balance their own life and trying to keep up i feel like leo's with your life and what it is that you're doing here okay some of you all this person could be an earth sign here or taurus a capricorn or a virgo here all right some of you all this person even had the audacity to try to juggle you or put you in a third party situation here and because you decided that you didn't want to be in a third party situation or you didn't want to be involved with all these different and people here you decided to manifest yourself up out of this situation here this person got upset about this okay and you called this person i feel like out on their shit and they got upset with you because of that and this is why this person is causing drama with
with you, other family members here, mutual friends being messy and all that shit here, lying to you, doing things behind your back, saying one thing, and it's a whole nother situation going on here. Yeah, look at that. I can't make this up. We got the five of swords here. Definitely a lot of arguments, disagreements, conflicts here. Not only do you have the five of ones that represents fighting, but you also have the seven of swords and the five of swords. There's a lot of drama heavy low vibration energy here okay there is definitely multiple people here that has been involved i feel like others are upset because this person might have even chose you over them or this is a situation where you decide to choose this person over your ex and they're upset here honey i feel like both sides here is upset because you two decided to choose each other and not choose these other individuals here so they're trying to cause all drama just to get your attention rather if it's picking a fight with someone that you may you know love or have you know respect for and they're trying to get your attention through other situations and circumstances here wow lions this is a lot of chaos here okay but i feel like you don't give two fucks about it i feel like it's not affecting you as much as it is affecting these other individuals here because you decide to step away from this third party situation or circumstance here you realize your worth you know who you are and you know what you deserve here and others unfortunately they don't so they rather go back and forth with this particular person and you're not choosing to do that and it's making this person you know of course feel unwanted because they feel like they should be the ones that be in fight or fall over and that's not the choice here and you're not choosing them over you okay do they not know they're dating the whole lion here or was dating the whole lion ain't no lion about to go back and forth and damn show be in competition with anybody period point blank yeah and look at that this person knows the fact that they're gonna lose you to the point where they're asking you will you marry me or I will ask you to marry me soon, right? And others of you are this person here that you done found your ultimate happiness here with. Someone that you feel like completes you on every level here and actually appreciate you is wanting to marry you soon here as well. So take that where that resonates. Yeah, look at that. Look at this shit. I went through your phone, okay? So some of y'all, this is what caused this particular situation to take place here because this person may have went through your phone here or you may went through this particular person's phone here and found out something here that you did not agree here with. So this person got upset because you may have caught this person red-handed here and they're upset about this. So now they're just acting out and being very childish and immature here for some of you all. Yeah, and look at this. I want to skill work and come over yeah you definitely have met someone new here for some of you all or you will be all right and this person just enjoys being around you they're so happy to be in your energy here they even understand what you're going on here okay i feel like some of you all have already discussed this with this particular person here to say look my life is upside down right now it's crazy all right, and I feel like this is someone you can actually talk to and express yourself to where they actually listen to you and appreciate you is why they respect being around you. And I'm sure this person has went through crazy situations in their past as well as why you two are able to understand each other and appreciate each other here. Yeah, look at this, lions. Can we move in together? Well, damn, this person ain't wasting no time here, Leos, okay? They're ready to move in with you. And this is why these people or your ex here or your person's ex here is really upset because they're like well y'all now about to move in with each other y'all doing all this y'all barely even know each other type of energy here that i'm also picking up here as well wow leos a lot is going on i will do anything for you wow so someone is willing to do whatever it takes leos to either get you back or or just to be in a relationship here with you. I feel like whoever you with, they recognize that you're treasure. And unfortunately, this other person didn't see the treasure when they had it. So this is why this person is willing to step in and do everything that your ex didn't do here, honey. Yes, honey. I can't make this up. I picked you 
any day, okay? So this particular person who wants you to know that they'll pick you any day over all these people, over all this drama here, they choose you and want to be with you, okay? Wow, look at this here. I learned my lesson, okay? I feel like some of y'all, this person is telling you, look, I've even learned my own lessons from my past relationships. So this is definitely not the relationship or type of situation I want with you, Leos, all right? That's for the new energy or for the person that maybe you two just gotten to know each other. It's been about a couple of months here, almost a year or two here, and you're thinking about moving in with each other or this person thought about this or brought this to your attention here. Others of you all, this is your person here from your past that want you to know that they learned their lessons from placing you in this third party situation, from lying to you, cheating on you, doing things behind your back, causing a lot of drama here. They're definitely feeling all of this, all the pain that they put you through, Leos. This person is now definitely going through what they took you through here today. Okay, yeah, look at this last card here. We have, I don't want to be a past lover. I want you now. Wow. So someone here no longer wants to be a past lover here. This is definitely giving me two energies here. You got someone from your past through Leos and you definitely have someone here in the future that you've been engaging here with or you will be. So there's definitely going to have to be a choice here to make. All right, definitely choose wisely, loves. Follow your intuition. It's ironic that we're working with the color purple here. So you're definitely wanting to use your third eye. Open up your third eye and follow your discernment when it comes to this particular person here, okay? Wow, powerful reading here, Leo. As always, again, definitely if the reading here has resonated, loves, don't forget to like, subscribe. We would love again to have you here part of family. Definitely making sure to adjust your notification bell so that way you can be ready for when I go live during the week for all Zodiac sign readings. And also, loves, if you would love to extend your stay here and join our Patreon soul family, that link is also down below in the description box. I do go live for all Patreon members where I do show my face on camera. And I also offer free questions each and every time I go live. You also get one-on-one -on -one weekly check-ins with me where we discuss any questions or concerns you may have, any oracle messages that I provide for you all as well. And you also get all the readings, all the content that I post here on YouTube, Leos. You do receive that first as well, my loves, all right? So thank you all, Leos, for your love, your support, your feedback, your comments. I see you, I hear you in those comments, and I appreciate each and every one of you all. And remember, lions, your health is your wealth, my loves. I love you. Bye-bye.